This is Madman Den, Operation Champ, July 1938, and Japan is about to make some moves. But I don't think they're the moves I've been was expecting. But more on that later. First, our tech rolls. We are going to roll for wartime economy and heavy battleships. So, wartime with the green. So, we'll do that. And hoping for another couple of successes. We're doing pretty well for tech so far, so now would be a great time to jinx it. Oh, we got heavy battleships. So, we will be on the board on there as well. Uh, still in wartime, which is unfortunate, but them's the breaks. Uh, next, our production. We are producing two destroyers and one SNLF for our nineteen dollars. Uh, combat moves. We are still not making any combat moves. However, we will be making a heck of a non-combat move, uh, which I will go over now. Okay. To begin with, this destroyer is going to move one space into season sixty-four. These two transports will move one space in season 64, or 54, picking up and running out of space. Picking up two, these two artillery. I'm going to leave that there for now because we are picking up with the units that were in that zone already. Um, sorry. Along with these two artillery, uh, these five transports and three destroyers will be picking up um, from C from the Rihi zone. Uh, one SLNF, three Marines, three infantry, one Gando special force, and two artillery. So we'll just add these two artillery to the stack. And this, those, what was it? Those five, no, seven ships, moving one zone down to C zone 89, and they will be picking up this infantry from Formosa. And. They will actually stay in the ocean this turn, and that should. Well, I'll go over. I'll go over why that is in a second. Well, in a minute. Um, the rest of this 97th force. Let me pick this up and put it over here. We'll be backing off into Korea. Next, we are going to take these. Three carriers. We're going to load them up with three tacticals. And two fighters. And these guys will be moving one, two, three four down to C zone 123. I think I'm going to need another task force for that in a second. So they are all going down here. Ugh. So those three boats alongside with the planes will be going in 123. Just gonna do some quick reorganizing. So let's call our landing force for something. Who knows what? Our second fleet. Okay. So what else do we want to move down? Um, I think we're going to move this torpedo boat destroyer onto the second fleet offside Formosa from 
Sea Zone 38. And these boats will see. Oh, it doesn't quite matter. So let's just toss three heavy cruisers. Oh. Three heavy cruisers along with the second off, off of Formosa. And the rest of the six will go one, two, three, four, and link up with these uh, with these carriers. And these two battleships will stay behind with the uh, forces in uh, forces in Formosa. So so far so good. This coastal submarine can move two, so it will just move two down to 88. And this light, light cruiser will join the sixth fleet off of an NC zone. Oh, where I'm covering it up now. Like one, two, two. Let's just put these back on the card over here. And hopefully. This will become somewhat neater. And I think I'll have to do a recap of this. This is a very um, intricate set of moves I'm doing. All right. So um, I think that's all we want to do. I just want to double check my moves are satisfactory. So I should have 13 units on the 41st there, which isn't there, it's here. So it's 10, 13. All right, I think that's as good as we're going to get it. Um, but yeah, as you may have noticed, I have entirely demilitarized de the Chinese home country. So neither the CCP nor the KMT can declare war on me anymore. Uh, according to their sheets, that is. There's something newer than that, then I'm not aware of it, and I guess that might be interesting. In any case, uh, I believe that is the end of my non-combat, so we can go straight to our production phase and collect income. So nothing too surprising, these two destroyers and the SMLF will go, well, destroyers will go in C Zone 38. The SLF will go in uh, Kyushu. And with that, we are done. Um, and I will have to pass you off to Hambone HQ in his Commonwealth turn. And I promise next turn will be the turn when, well, one or two things happen for the Japanese Empire. This has been Madman Dan, wishing you all the best. Hope you guys have a great night. Bye. And Madman Dan back again. I think I forgot to do a recap of what's in each zone, so let's do that now and I'll also collect my income. Um, as before, I collect 16 and get 3 in bonuses, so I end up with 19 IPP. Uh, and from top to bottom, in Korea I have 2 fighters, 2 motorized, an artillery, a Marine, an SMLF, Cavalry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Infantry. Uh, in C-Zone 41, I have in C-Zone 41, I have two battleships, one torpedo boat destroyer, one, two, three heavy cruisers, one, two, three destroyers, five transports, four infantry, three marines, one SLF, four artillery, and one Gando special force. In 88, I just have a wee coastal submarine. In one, two, three, I have two fleet carriers, one light carrier, one battle cruiser, 
one, two light cruisers and three destroyers, along with three tactical bombers and two fighters. And with that, I'll end my turn and pass you off to Hambone HQ. And I uh, lost my train of thought, but. I think this is the second time I'm saying goodbye tonight, so hope everyone has a good one. Bye!